everyone and hello all and welcome to another crafting adventure where today we are going to be challenging ourselves to something a little bit more difficult than we have done in the previous few videos. Yes, for today we are going to be making ba -ba -da -ba, this wonderful slide together music box. Once again, by the uh, very kind people from Handscraft. Uh, yes, here we have a uh, wooden kit where you simply, well, build a music box. Um, it has 52 pieces and is for ages 14 plus, which is, well, nine years higher than the um, previous ones. So in difficulty that should make it a little bit more difficult, but I am old and skilled enough to build it. I hope. Well, okay, before we get into too much detail on our dancing ballerina, we're going to open up this box and find out exactly what is inside. Having removed the plastic earlier, it's very easy just to, well, take everything out. We don't need the box. And we can see all the pieces in this lovely little tray, making it very easy to keep it all together. Alright, so we have... Our wooden sheets of parts. Uh, looks like there's about five different sheets. Open them in a moment, find out. Uh, we got the instructions, which are very important. And oh my, oh my. It seems we're going to need quite a lot of bits and pieces. Hopefully, the kit contains them all. Uh, we have the I suppose this is the part that makes the music. We have our dancing ballerina. Uh, screwdriver, a couple of wooden bits, some screws. Oh, I think everything we need is here. Oh, it even comes with the glue. Marvelous. So, hopefully we won't be needing anything extra for this one. But first things first, let's take a look at what we have to do for stage one. Well, it does appear we're going to be taking the ballerina and gluing it to part P8, which, oh, wonderfully, it does have all of the pieces uh, labelled here, so that shouldn't be too hard to figure out which one it is. All right, give me a moment and I'll find those pieces. All right, we've looked through the box and found the pieces. we got this little bit here, don't really know what to call it, and our... Uh, wonderful little ballerina here which is oh, a very nice little model and I am assuming we're going to use some of the glue that's in the box and simply glue this inside there like that which I will do in a moment um, also checked everything else you need is in the box so you don't have to prepare anything apart from maybe a pair of scissors just to remove the plastic from the pieces here which um, always comes with a bit of sandpaper put that to the side and was I correct? Yes, I was. It was five sheets of parts. Now, these parts, some of them are a bit thicker than others. I think it's that one sheet. Yep. So some of these parts are a little bit thicker than other ones. Um, you want to be careful uh, popping these out, particularly ones with this here, because these are the ones that you can curve or bend round corners. So, um, yeah, compared to some of the earlier ones I've done, take a bit of time popping these pieces out. But first things first, we're going to glue this part inside the feet of the ballerina and get these pieces ready for stage two. Okay, the pin has been glued in place, so it no longer falls out. Put that aside there. Now the instructions do also say that you can use this glue to stick some of the extra parts if you like but I figure so long as they go together reasonably well, um, I'm going to avoid using glue where possible. And um, also, i just like to say the actual decoration on these parts is, uh, well, amazing. Um, and yeah, they as, as always, they do pop out quite nicely. And even the back is a very nice shade of green. Marvellous. Well, okay, the first stage we're going to do is, uh, well, making this square here. This bit slides into these two slots here, which, uh, as you all know, is um, not the easiest thing to do on camera, so I'll do that in a moment. And this one slides on there, and you've got to make sure the 
uh, illustration is on the inside because this is going to be where you're looking down into the box. For these parts I don't think glue is really going to be needed, they fit in very snugly and they are not going to be falling out. Additionally, I'd like to point out that on each of the parts sheets, uh, each piece is clearly labelled, making it very easy to find the parts we need. Now from here we're going to be folding that bit over there like that. Then we're going to be attaching this very lovely coloured piece here. I, I love this sort of tree effect and I really do love these bits where you can bend it at a well 90 degree angle. Oh, something very... I don't know, it's just a very nice thing to do. Um, once you try it you'll understand what I'm trying to say. Now you can see these little gaps at the bottom here and they're going to be fitting on there and curving all the way around to the back. Now this is the part that it does say you can use glue if you want so if these are a little bit loose just pop a little bit of glue on and they should fit in place quite nicely. But I'm going to try this and see how easy it is. Alright that was um, a little bit of a squeeze to get on but uh, it does go on quite nicely there. Don't think mine's going to be needing any glue but don't worry if uh, if you decide to make one yours does. And I'd also like to say that these trees have a lovely green background now from the piece we put in earlier which is amazing. Alrighty so now we need to do the same on the other side. We're going to bend this bit round um, somehow round there which I will figure out in a moment. And we're going to do the same with this part here. Again very nicely decorated. That's just going to curl round and hopefully complete the body of the box. Yes, everything slides into position nicely. Even on the inside there, this all slides together. And it's very sturdy. Don't have to worry about it breaking. All right, push that aside for what is next. Stage three, looks like we're gonna need these hinge pieces here. They're gonna be attaching to these back bits here, it would look like and then these go on the other side to hold them in place. All right, let's find out what they actually are. So it seems we've got four of these hinges that go in the back there. Um, they should slide through like that. Then this little mouthy bit here just goes down as far as you can. It is a bit of a tight squeeze, but I will do that in a moment. Then we take one of these small locking pieces I suppose and they slide in the top there to give this uh, flush finish and you just need to do that four times to get all the hinges in place. Like so. You want to take your time with these make sure you don't uh, break any of the parts but they do go in nice and snugly. Alrighty next uh, we need to take the main uh, music piece I assume oh that is this bit um, we're gonna have one of the backing parts from the card and we're gonna screw it on in three places so there should be yep as you can see one two three screw holes in the back of the music player all right let's do that like this and uh, yep the little screwy part comes through the back there so the music part goes this way round and then these little feet here slide in these back holes here. oh no wait it goes this way round and slides in there and then this piece with the picture facing inwards should slide down uh, into these holes here to complete the pink box. Alright let's find how easy that is to do. Okay, not as bad as I thought, so long as you're pushing straight down, it's not too much of a problem. Secondly, um, I'd like to apologize for the sound of the cicada outside if they have um, come out for summer and they may be in the background of this video, so sorry about that. Um, but all that aside, all right, so we've got the box here. We've got this lovely pink area hiding the motor or music box. I don't really know what the official name for this is. So then we're going to take this lovely piece here that slides over the top of that bit and should slide down into place there. Obviously you're going to have to put a, put a bit of pressure on it, uh, being careful not to break these uh, smaller pieces here. Alright, so I'll put that over to the side. 
uh, once the top's on, we're going to put the key on the back of the music box, and that should be the end of stage four. With some careful pressure applied, that does go on quite nicely. You want to be careful around the back here because you've got a lot of pieces in the way. Oh dear. And it appears when you put the key on as well, it does wind it up a little bit, so don't be shocked when it plays some music. All right, from here, we're gonna make the decoration on the front, which involves this little piece here sliding through there. Um, it recommends putting some glue on that, which I will do. Then this piece is gonna go over the top with that little bit in the middle. And then we have this little bird that goes on the side there. Obviously, we have to stick the wing on. So this piece requires glue for every piece attached, but it should give you something that looks like this. And uh, with this sort of crafting glue, don't worry if a little bit seeps through, it will dry clear and be unnoticeable, um, well, when it's dry. So put that aside, give it a moment. Next, uh, we're moving on to part six, where it looks like we're taking this top piece here and adding two smaller pieces to it. Shouldn't be too difficult. And in a little bit more detail we have the top piece here with the little clouds and you can see the outline there where this one goes on here this one goes up on the top there then we're going to take uh, well this next piece uh, which we're going to use the back side but on the front of this you can see it's got the little outline there of this corner piece and that's going to go there and we're just going to attach all these clouds using some glue Okay, there were actually three pieces that had little clouds attached, and that's four clouds in total. And for now, we're going to forget about these. For the next stage is stage nine, where we're going to have, I think this is the last big square piece here, attached hinges E9 and E10, and then these long bits here, D11 and D10. And that should make part of the lid that looks like this the hinges fit on quite nicely and the side bits are obviously going to go around there later but not quite yet from here we're going to take the pink piece with the cloud on that is going to slide in those little gaps there with the little nobbles going in those holes there and that should come flush with the edge like that and if like me you accidentally knock the cloud off just re-glue it back on when you're done then we're going to turn this over. We've got two of these little pieces here, which simply go in this hole on the end there, and the other one goes in this hole on the end there. Once you've fixed your cloud, if you broke it, and you've got your little hooks on either end, you're going to take one of the side pieces, bring it all the way around, making sure all these parts go through the correct holes. Get it about there. The other side's going to come almost all the way around, but before you finish it, you want to make sure you put this little lock between them, holding it down. And once that's all done, create the lid like this. The hinges in the back and the little latch on the front. One thing I'd like to add is these little bits here. I made a mistake. They don't actually hook on. They just go straight through. So the hooks are in the back like that. And then this little pink bit here, pink bit here will slide down over the top of them to create the pink border inside. And once that's in place, this pink bit here is gonna slide over the top to create the final image. That hopefully should look something like this. And so the different layers does give a very nice effect there. Everything slid into place nicely, no trouble. And again, if it is a little bit loose, you can use some glue. I have only used glue to stick the little clouds on. Okay, then um, that's the inside of the lid done. We're going to turn that over like this. We're going to take the green piece that we made earlier with the stars, uh, not the stars, the uh, clouds. That is going to glue on top of there. There are no little hinges or anything. That's just going to straight glue on. And then you can see these little uh, shapes here. They are going to be these little bits here just glued in those spaces. Then the lid is finally complete. Once your glue has dried, uh, mine hasn't fully dried, but I recommend waiting for it to fully dry. We need to attach the roof to the base through these holes here, and it should just uh, 
slide like that, uh, having well a hole going all the way through. Now to attach it, it actually comes with two of these little wooden rods, which we need to cut to 14 millimeters each. And very nicely, it even comes with a little measure, so you can measure 14 millimeters. Um, that's about one and a half, just under one and a half centimeters. Cut it, uh, do that again, so you've got two. Then slide it through all three holes there. We put one of these either side, and then we do the same on this side there, and it should all be nicely attached. Uh, now to cut the wood, you can use a knife or scissors. I think if you've got a strong pair of scissors, you shouldn't have too much trouble cutting through. I will try both method methods and let you know which one's better. Okay, so there you are. The hinges are good and in place. Um, I tried using a knife, but you're going to need a pretty strong uh, cutting board for that one. Uh, scissors seem to be a lot easier, but it tended to squash the end of the wood a little bit, so um, it required a little bit of uh, sanding just to get it back to its original size, so it would fit through like that. And then we have the hinge. So the music box should be able to close, and that should go over there. Oh. Alright, it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but we'll come back to that later. It does hold its shape though. Um, okay, now the only thing we need to do now is attach the ballerina to here, which I think it's just a case of twisting it on like that all the way to the end. And we have the little lock that goes on the front here, so when it's closed, you can lock it up. Oh, all right, so I'm gonna finish screwing this on and then let's find out what it's like. Ta-da, the music box is complete. It is sealed and padlocked, closed by this wonderful little heart here. Yes, it has been wound up and even with the ballerina on, it closes nicely because there's a little bit of space in the top there. Um, looking at the outside, very colorful, like it a lot. Every piece fit together nicely. Although I would recommend with this one more than some of the ones I've done in the past, uh, use the sandpaper just on some of the smaller parts to make sure everything fits together perfectly. Additionally, before I open the box, I'd like to point out that this kit also came with uh, a lot of extra parts, particularly these delicate pieces, which are quite easy to break uh, when you take them out of the um, sheet. So that is very nice. Um, additionally, it did come with an extra rod here, which was used in the hinges. So if you make a mistake with that, you have a backup. Um, alternatively, you could just use a sort of skewer or something if you have them in your kitchen. So let's open her up and find out what the music's like. Now, um, this did take quite a while to build, um, so I am happy that it was very successful. Nothing broke. All the sheets uh, came out perfectly, um, which is one thing I do like about the Handscraft products. Everything is made, well, very high quality. Um, if you are interested in getting uh, one of these or any of these that I've done before, the website is uh, in the description of the video, along with the Facebook page for Handscraft where they do display a lot of their other products. So without further ado, let's open the box, remove the latch. Oh, it's a bit stiff. For some reason with the ballerina spinning, ugh, it gets a bit tight. And let's find out what music it plays. Wow. There you are. Oh. Something very nice about this. And there's a little storage space here as well if you want to keep your lock and whatever else in there. Maybe the spare parts. Who knows? Well, this one has been a lot of fun. I love the design. Uh, I like how colourful it is. And this is definitely a sort of thing you can display for a long period of time and the music uh, green sleeves I believe uh, is always wonderful if you ever need it but there's no way for me to stop it now um, it is a little bit difficult to close with the ballerina spinning but anyway there you are that's how to make a music box out of sliding pieces of wood I hope you have enjoyed this video and as I said before the uh, website of the people who make this is down in the description Please do check it out, um, they are wonderful people and they have so many good products, cannot recommend them enough. 
So thank you all very much for watching. Oh, finally, peace and quiet. And please do check out some of my other videos if you have the time. And if you are feeling very wonderful and generous, you know, you could always throw me a like and a subscription. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Well, thank you all again. Please do say, say, stay safe in these um, strange times that is uh, 2020. And uh, I'll be back within a week. Have a nice one.